potentially dry day ahead with sunshine and light winds, but will it last into the weekend? I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. <laughs> I think we all know. No one the trusts truth of what's going there. <laughs> nice today, Charlotte. Oh, honestly. <laughs> Score. How do we do it? Well, I know you've got some top tips how to look for tits, haven't you? Yeah. So yes, it is the Great British Bird Watch this weekend, and it's the RSPB. It is the biggest citizen science nature survey in the UK, and what they're asking you to do is number your garden looking for these birds. And if you want to attract them to your garden, you can make a bird feeder. We've been doing this in my daughter's beavers group. You just need a toilet roll with some peanut butter, pop on some birds. Two things worth pointing out. Only count the ones that land on the ground, not the ones that fly through the sky. And only count the ones that you see the most at any one time. So if you see four blackbirds and then later on two blackbirds, it's not six, Ben, just in case you're wondering. Oh, okay you see at any one time and then send back your data uh, because numbers have been declining but the top three spotted at the moment number one the house sparrow which actually nest in the wall of our garden to be able to enjoy and do I it think is a, a great really idea. lovely moment and when you start to make sure that we know that our what's happening with our bird population birds in our it garden. is perfect weather for ornithology so yes, for all you twitchers out there, it's actually looking largely fine and dry as we head through this weekend. It was a different story last night. We had a band of rain move through, heavy and blustery, but the high pressure close by this weekend, doing its very best to keep weather fronts at bay. It's not that successful across the far north, but here's how it looks for today. We have a band of heavy rain, blustery winds march their way eastwards overnight. It is slowly clearing away and things are improving. So we'll see more sunshine as we head through the day. The winds will ease as we head through the day, but we will see the arrival of some showers in the far northwest and cold for them to be snow across the highest of ground and cooler today than it has been around about average six to seven degrees in the north and maybe up to nine in the south. Tonight, we have these clear skies. We have light winds in the south, and that means it's set to be a chilly night to come. So a cold start to the day, first thing tomorrow morning in the south, milder with the breeze in the north. But tomorrow is looking largely fine and dry, with just a few showers continuing in the far northwest. Good morning to you. Although I'm dressed like a rainbow this morning, there won't be very many of them in sight this weekend because it is largely dry. Welcome news, finally. We had a band of rain, though, move in overnight last night. Now it's clearing through. High pressure is moving in, and it's high pressure that acts like a force field, keeping things largely dry. Weather fronts try to make progress from the northwest as we head through the weekend, and here is where we most likely to see wet weather. So this weekend, largely dry, wettest and windiest in the northwest, but it stays yet again with a southwesterly flow, mild for many of us. So here's how it looks first thing this morning. Well, many people kept awake by strong blustery winds and a heavy band of rain that marched across the country. Squally winds now clearing away from Eastern England and Scotland. And then as it clears away, it is an improving story. So we'll see more in the way of sunshine. The clouds will clear away, the rain will clear away, and then the winds will ease. So plenty of dry weather and sunshine this afternoon. Still a few showers for the northwest of Scotland, but noticeably colder than it's been over the last few days. Six to nine degrees, around about average, maybe just a little above, but I think because it's been so mild, it'll feel a little fresh. So how do things pan out as we head through the weekend and into the next seven days? Well, we continue with the Atlantic feeding in. So we look at the north of the UK, first of all, Scotland, Northern Ireland, northern areas of England, and we look at where our temperatures are compared to average. This is average, and they remain pretty much above average for the next week. Percentage chance of rainfall for the next few days. Well, at the moment, it's largely dry once that rain clears away today and tomorrow. But actually, from the end of the weekend into next week, across the north with weather fronts trying to make progress we're likely to see showers but most likely for the northwest of Scotland. Fortunes further south for England and Wales for the next seven days way above average especially on Sunday we could get up to 16 degrees on Sunday. Percentage chance of rainfall better fortunes further south with this higher pressure closer by largely fine and dry with some decent spells of sunshine Tuesday most likely for showers.